Hey guys, it's Paige at Comfort Books, and I'm here to do my January 2013 wrap-up. So you guys know what that means. I'm about to show you the, all the books I read in January. And there isn't many. I only read three, two physical, one ebook. But it's just because one of the books was pretty big. It doesn't look that big, but it was pretty big, and I was in the middle of being really busy while reading it. Like, I started it, and then I had a bunch of schoolwork, and I had finals, so, like, that all intertwined with finishing the book. So, I just finished that book tonight, which I'm so excited for because tomorrow's the 31st. So, if I didn't finish it tonight or tomorrow, I wouldn't have been able to count it towards January. But, I finished it, so that counts. So, I'm happy. So, the first book I finished in January is Every Day by David Leviathan. This is about a boy who wakes up in a different body every day. Um, and he ends up falling in love. While he is in this boy's body, he's in Justin's body, and he wakes up. Well, he wakes up in Justin's body, and he goes to school, and he meets Justin's girlfriend, Rhiannon, and he falls in love with her. So every every day he wakes up, and he thinks he figures out how far away from her he is, and he figures out if he can go see her, and eventually he just can't get enough of her to where he needs to see her all the time. And it's such an interesting book. You really need to read it because. It's so worth it. The ending... Uh, the ending was not what I was expecting it to be. But, you know, I think it may might have been because... Sorry, I had to shut my door. I think it may be because the ending might have struck me in a bad way because of the mood I was in while reading it. I love the book, but I think I was in a depressive mood when I when the ending hit. So the ending annoyed me a tad bit. I think if I reread it, I was in a lot better mood when the ending hit. I would have been, oh yeah, that was cool, you know, I don't know, who knows. The second book I finished was an ebook. And I'll show it to you on my iPhone. You probably won't be able to see it because my iPhone's like doesn't like it. Peep peep. Oh my god, you can't even see that at all. Let's see. Can you? <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god. Um, hmm. Let's see if I try turning the light away a little bit. Okay, alright, can you see it now? <laughs> Normalish by Margaret Leash. This is... Normalish by Margaret Leash. That is was a book for a tour um, from a tour that I was a part of exp on Expresso Reads, I think. It's about it's just basically about a girl who is going through high school and she's trying to deal with the death of her dad and something that happens with her sister and her boyfriend's like her best friend. Like it's all basically like a high school drama life that is the whole book's about. So it was it was. A quick, fluffy read that I, I, I enjoyed. Um, I needed a break from my dramatic books. <laughs> so that was a good one. The last book I read was a book that I won from a giveaway that I got. And I usually don't win. When I get books, I usually, like, books from giveaways or books that I bought, I usually don't read them right away because I like them to sit there and I like them to be like, oh, I really want that because I've been waiting for a while. You know what I mean? So I was surprised at myself for picking that up so soon, but I really wanted to read it. I really wanted to read it. I really wanted to read it, so I picked it up. And that was The Farm by Emily McKay. Guys, this book was fantastic. Fantastic. I would have finished this in a week, less than a week, if I didn't have finals and everything going on. It took me a couple weeks to read, but that's because it's 400 pages and I had finals and stuff going on. But don't get me wrong, this was amazing. My review ranted and raved. The only thing I did not like about this book was that it wasn't as creepy as I thought it was going to be. And I really need a creepy book lately because I'm always searching for creepy books and I never seem to find one. I find there's a few creepy moments, but they're not scare the pants off, you can't sleep at night scary. And I really want to find a book like that because I've yet to. Like, I gorge myself with scary movies all, di all the time and I'm scared crapless most of the time from them. So I've yet to find a book that does that to me, and I really, really want to. Um, but anyways, because, you know, like, you expect this to be scary, because look how creepy the cover looks. I mean, barbed wire, and her face is, like, ghostly, like a pale bluish, 
and it's just, it's, it's so creepy looking, but, you know, it's not, I don't know, but this book really was great, great, great. You guys should check it out when you get the chance, because it's amazing. Amazing! So yeah, that's all I've read this week, month, month. <laughs> I plan to read more in February, because to get myself out of the reading slump that I was in through, like, June to till, like, November, that whole reading slump, that was horrible. That was a long reading slump, and that was horrible, because I barely read anything all summer. In summer, I was like, but in the months before summer, I was like, yeah, I can't wait till summer. I'm going to read 10 million thousand books and get to my goal of 100, and I read, like, two books throughout the whole summer. Because I was with family all summer, and I was going crazy, and I was having a good time, and I just wasn't reading, and it was bad. And I, I totally regret that now, because, like, I didn't get to my goal. I didn't even, I didn't even make it past my goal that I, last year, because last year I read 79 books. This year I read, like, 76. Oh, I was so mad at myself. I was like, that is not happening. So I, I want to read 100 books, but I'm not setting my goal that high this year. I set it to, like, 80, and then as I go, if I reach it, I'll set it up and up and up. So, you know what I mean? So yeah. Anyways, I'm not making a TBR video because I've stopped doing those. Maybe maybe I'll do them in the future, who knows, but for right now, they've kept me out of a reading slump, just picking up random books that I want to read, and that keeps me going, so that's what I'm going to do. If you guys did a wrap-up, I'll still watch you guys' TBR posts too, so if you guys did a wrap-up or a TBR, link it below, and I'll definitely come check them out and comment on the books you guys are reading slash want to read. Thanks for watching, bye!